Brothers Jonathan and Christopher Fedock may share a last name, but they have very different roles as UK healthcare physicians. I spent the I've spent most of my career um, both practicing medicine as well as teaching. A year ago, I took over as assistant dean for the College of Medicine, and what I'm focusing on there is really um, reinventing our curriculum um, and looking at a way to deliver the the material in a more effective way. So I have a little bit more of a clinical role, and primarily I work for the Markey Cancer Center. Uh, there I am uh, in charge of doing all the radiation for patients with breast cancer, gynecologic malignancies, and also all the pediatric patients. Both say the roots for their success started at home. It really was, you know, from a very young age driven that you're responsible for your career, your life, and everything else, so make the most of it. There was no being lazy around our house. Um, you know, it might have been summertime, but mom was always going to have some type of workbook for us to do. With nine years between them, Jonathan calls Christopher his role model. So I was the younger brother who always looked up to his older brother, so I think it always kind of felt in that since he did it, maybe that's what I can do too, and he's always been a good mentor for me in terms of helping me get through school and hard times. Funny enough, when I was a freshman in college, and I had my first semester grades and I didn't do so hard on my exams, I did come to him and my dad saying, maybe, med med maybe medicine's not for me, maybe I should change degrees and do something a little easier, and I was told by both of them, no, not happening, stick with it. Now that they're colleagues, Christopher sees his younger brother in a new light. Because of the years of undergraduate, the years of medical school, the years of residency, it takes a really long time to really achieve that goal where you're finally in a career and that, you know, you really have this, this career in front of you. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a really nice experience, though, to be here and watch him do that. Though they're in different areas, both say it's nice having a brother on the same medical campus. If we ever need to have medical care crossed over, so if I need a patient admitted to internal medicine, he, he needs somebody that has to have something done in oncology, kind of just having our name suddenly opens up some connections where other people might not know us individually, but oh, I know the brother. At the same time, I think it's nice having someone that, although they don't do exactly what you do, they know enough to kind of be that, that sounding board, um, and they can be objective. And at the end of the day, they do share a common goal. You know, I think one of the other things that's always driven both of us towards medicine is that ability to give back. And I enjoy seeing my patients get better, and I enjoy being able to say that, uh, you know, I've cured their cancer, or I've helped them to the point where they, maybe if I didn't cure their cancer, I've actually made it to where they're going to be able to enjoy whatever time they have left. It really is about making an impact on someone else's life, um, and whether that is a patient, um, a colleague, a student, a resident, whoever it is here, I think what really motivates both of us is just being able to make that impact. An impact the Fedoc family is proud to make at the University of Kentucky. For UK Now, I'm Amy Jones-Timoney.